لندن یکی از شهرهای سیاهی و پیشرفته جهان به حساب رفته با داشتن امکانیت و اقتدار کافی برای کار و فعالیت زندگی و بود و باشی ساکنانش در یکی از جایهای نمایان می استد. برای از نزدیک آشنا نمودن خانندگان با این شهر مقتدیر دنیا یکی از آمزگارانی پیش قدم مؤسسه تحصیلات میانه عمومی رقم پونسته علاچه معارف و علم جمهوری تاجگیسان فرزان خفورو و یک ساعت درسی خود را از فان زبانی انگلیسی با شاگردانش خانندگانی سیندفین ده هم بخشیده با این موضوع دو ایر نمود Uh, 
imagine that I'm a foreign person and I came from USA to Tajikistan and it's my first play, uh, first time here and uh, right now I want to know uh, some important things which uh, are in Tajikistan. Before I want to know about Tajikistan. Uh, can you help me to get information about Tajikistan? Yes, Mr. May. The area of Tajikistan is 143,000 square kilometers. The population is more than 10 million. The Tajik Republic was founded on the, 5, on the 5th December in 1929. Uh, early age, Tajikistan was autonomous republic. It was, uh, it was formed in 1924. Uh, the, the, the capital of Tajikistan is Tushan. Uh, what is the name of your native town? What is the name of the city uh, where you live? The name of the town is Panjakan. Panjakan is you know, Panjakan is situated in the Russian Valley. The, there are many historical places in Panjakan. Uh, Mazuri Sharif, Mazuri Sharif, uh, ancient Panjakan, ancient Saras, several lakes and others. Panjakan's population of the city is, is more than 340,000 people. Thank you so much. Sit down, please. And uh, if some uh, people from uh, different countries uh, will come to our country, how would you describe our Tajikistan? Bibi John? Tajikistan is a small country, the borders of Kyrgyzstan, Afghanistan, China, and Uzbekistan, and is home to some highest mountain in the world. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, I know that every country has its own flags. I want to know about Tajikistan flags. The red represents the unity of the nation as well as victory in Sinai. The red also serves as a symbol of the former Russian and Soviet eras. The workers and the various who sacrifice their live to protect the land. The white represents purity, morality, the snow and ice of the mountains and cotton. Thank you so much. I know that uh, uh, Tajikistan is a very um, developing country and uh, I want to know about uh, the name of uh, the person who leads this uh, wonderful country. Who is the uh, president of our country? The president uh, of Tajikistan is the head of state, the head of government of the Republic of Tajikistan. Our president is Evelina Ramon and he was born in 5th of October in 1952 in Ankara. He is a third president and he started working as president since 1994. Um, since 1994. Uh, in 16th of November is uh, President's Day in our country. Okay. He, will, uh, he was married and he has. He is married. Uh, he is married and he has uh, nine. nine children. Okay, thank you so much. I gained more information about uh, our president. Okay, um, I know that uh, Moscow's heart is, is a Kremlin and uh, Red Square, and I want to know what is the heart of our city? What is the heart of Panjakent? Saras is an ancient town and also Jamalad in northwestern Tajikistan. It dates back to the 4th millennium BC uh, and uh, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, the Jamalad is uh, part of the city of Panjakent in Sub region uh, and uh, has a, po a total population uh, of more than 27,000 people. It consists uh, of 21 villages. Uh, it is more than uh, 5,500 years old. Archaeologists found a vine that Panjakent was founded around year 400 uh, and abandoned and the, by the end of uh, 800 years, 702 make the arrival uh, of uh, men, make the arrival of Arab conquests, which prompted abandonment uh, of the city, uh, introduction uh, religion in region. What can you say about education in Tajikistan? Education in Tajikistan consists of four years of primary school, followed by two stages of secondary school. Attendance is a mandatory of secondary school. Uh, there are a lot of educational centers in Tajikistan. All, all children, all school children and students have adult uh, can join such in, in knowledge. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, I want to know also about uh, English language. Who can tell me? Johnny Beck? 
English is a native language for more than 300 million people on our earth, uh, uh, but nowadays it is, wi it is widely used, uh, not only used in those countries where it is the first language. There are some countries where English uh, is an official second language and it is often used in mass media, courts, parliaments and universities. Uh, today English is used almost everywhere, uh, it's international and world language. Thank you. And uh, I know that you, you are the students of the ninth grade and after two years you will graduate the school. And uh, I know that some of you chose uh, some professions and I want to know what's your future profession? As the end of school is the start of our NGPD lab and the beginning of the most serious examination we have passed. In order to do well at this examination, it is necessary to choose the right reading lab, which will help us best to live and work for our good and for the benefit of our country. I want to be an interpreter. It's a very important job. Okay, I hope that uh, all your wishes will come true. And uh, I know that you are all working hard with your English, and your English is perfect. Um, thank you so much. Sit down, please. And uh, I want to know who is the best person in your life? And uh, maybe uh, some of you have an ideal person uh, and which, who you love uh, very much, but I, don't, I want to know about your favorite person in your life, your own life. Okay. I have someone in my life who means life to me. It's my mother, the most important person in earth. She is always with me from my birth. Uh, she, she gave me my life and uh, I feel terrible ashamed to realize that and I often feel to say and forget a simple thank you to her. My mother means life to me. She gave me my precious life. Thank you so much. And uh, I want to know about uh, your last homework. What was your home task for today? Our homework was a great return. Uh, Do you know anything about Great Britain? Yes. Can you tell me? Uh, the Great Britain is an island in the North Atlantic Ocean of the coast uh, of the northwest of coast of continental Europe, with an area of 209-331 square kilometers. It's the largest uh, British island, the largest European island, and the ninth largest island in the world. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, Mr. will you help me? I want to know about Northern Ireland. Who is ready for this part of the lesson? Sharon, please. The creation of Northern Ireland was accompanied by violence both in defense of and against partition. During the conflict of 1920-22, the capital process saw major criminal violence, uh, mainly Protestant Unionists and Catholics, national, nationalist civilians. More than 500 were killed and more than 10,000 become refugees. For the next 50 years, Northern Ireland had an unbroken series of the Unionist Party government. Today, our new topic is about uh, London. You know that it's uh, the continuum of Great Britain, and uh, London is the capital of Great Britain. Also, it is the capital city of United Kingdom. And uh, today, I want to introduce you. Uh, more information about uh, London and I will show you some pictures and then I will uh, uh, play with you a group work and some uh, uh, exciting activities. Okay? Are you ready? London is the capital of Great Britain and also the capital city of what? United Kingdom. Okay. Look at this picture. What kind of picture is it? Can you see it? This is the picture of Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar, and there are always a lot of people and uh, pigeons on the square. Every winter there is a big Christmas tree which is a gift, a gift from Norway in the middle of the square. Um, before showing this information, be attentive and uh, pay attention after watching after watching this uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation. I will uh, organize one activity with you, and uh, you need uh, to know this information because of it. Look at this information um, and uh, pay full of your attention. Okay.
one on, the, on New Year Eve, people gather around the tree. And in the middle of the sphere, there is Admiral Nelson's column. The next bit, Buckingham Palace. Do you know anything about it? No, I see. Okay, this is this will be useful for you. This is the Queen's home. Also, it was built in uh, 1703. Who is this? Queen uh? Elizabeth. It is the Queen Elizabeth VII. Okay. The Queen of Great Britain. The Queen of uh, Great Britain is Elizabeth II. Her husband, that of Edinburgh. Okay, do you know how many children uh, did they have? They have four grown up children uh, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. Okay, the next one. It's uh, Westminster Abbey. Do you know anything about it? If no, Look at this picture. This is Holy Palace place. Uh, all English kings have been crowned and uh, burned here in, the, in this church since uh, 1308. Okay. And also, Westminster Cathedral. It was built between 1895 and 1903. This is the seat of the Cardinal uh, Archbishop uh, and uh, the leading Roman Catholic Church in England. Its bell tower is uh, 84 meters high. Is it big man? The house of the House of Parliament. And uh, this is place, uh, palace is the most uh, famous building in the world, the British Parliament or the House of Parliament. The building is 280 meters long and it has about 1,000 rooms. Okay, what is it? Big Ben. Do you know anything about it? Yes, this is a big clock. Big, big clock tower. Big Ben is a big clock tower, it's symbol of London. It strikes hours. Okay, what is it? What kind of bus? Double decker bus. All tourists like this bus because from this bus and from the second floor they can see everything. There are a big, there are big red buses called double deckers in London. People sit upstairs and down downstairs in these buses. Tourists like them very much. What is it? You know that all taxis in the United States like this taxi. Uh, like uh, all the patients, not more than patients. Taxis in London are all patients, black cars, not red, not uh, yellow, not green. Okay. What is it? It's telephone booth. In Tajik, we call it taxaphone, like taxaphone. We have it in Anjakens, but now we have no. We have no. From here you can call your friends. Okay, what is it? River Thames. Where is situated London? Yes. Uh, Thames flows through London. And the River Thames is 338 kilometers long. It is 245 Matter white here. Okay, even big uh, sea ships can see, visit London. London at night. I will show only pictures here. Then uh, I will uh, introduce you the second my my second presentation, and then we will continue our lesson and organize activities. You see that how beautiful city is London. The glass book of the great court at the British Museum. Travel this way at night. <coughs> Heralds in the Albert Bridge. Buckingham Palace at night. Oxford Circus. Piccadilly Circus. The House of Parliament. Do you want to visit London after uh, watching this uh, presentation?
presentation? Yes. Okay. Surely you have some questions about London, I see, after watching first presentation. Am I right? Okay, the first question for you. What is the capital of Great Britain? Yes. London, London is the capital of Great Britain. You are quite right. London is the capital of Great Britain and it is also the capital city of England. The second question. What is London known for? It is a lot of Metropolis in the United Kingdom and it is also the country's economy, transportation and cultural center. Okay, what is the full name of London? Do you know? Have you ever uh, think about it? What is the full name of London? What is the full name of London? For example, my full name is Raporva Parzona. What is the full name of London? See. Until 1889, the name London applied officially only the city of London, but since then it has also referred to the country of London and to Great, Greater London. In reading, London is uh, occasionally contacted to LDN. Okay, what is the nickname of London? Big Smoke. Excellent. Big Smoke is the nickname of London. Perhaps the most well known of London's nickname because London has once uh, an industrial hotbed with many factories all over the city. Okay, what is London known for? Big Bad. Big Bad. Big Bad. Big Bad. Big Bad. Okay, London is famous for Big Bad, Buckingham Palace. British Museum and Tower Bridge, London is also known for its rich history, cosmopolitan webs and others. What is the area of London? What is the area of London? The area of London is 1552 kilometers. Okay. What is the population of London for today? Do you know? Yes. The proportion of uh, the uh, London uh, is more than 10 million. Okay. You are quite right. Uh, but uh, for today, the population of London is nearly 10 million people, maybe 9 and a half. If I could give you at least some useful information for you. <coughs> so today, uh, I achieved my current goal. Thank you for your attention and uh, today's our presentation is over. I will give you um, five minutes. Five minutes. During five minutes you can read. After five minutes I will uh, give my paper and also that paper and uh, I will give you a story about London. You must be able to put in order all paragraphs and uh, make a light and uh, read to us, okay? Can you? First read.
the center. Uh, the, most, uh, the most fashionable and the most expensive part to live in the West End is the city between the city and the park. Thank you so much. Excellent. Correct. The city and the West End, the West End are the heart of London. All the most interesting buildings, shops and offices are situated here. Thank you. Correct. It is the largest metropolis in the United Kingdom and it is also the country's, country's economy, transportation and cultural culture center. Thank you. Until 1889, the name London applied officially only to the city of London but signs uh, that it has also referred uh, to the country of London and the uh, greater, greater London. In, in, right, in Britain, London is officially contracted uh, to LDN. Thank you. The big smoke, perhaps the most welcome of London, London's nickname because London was once an industri industrial hotbed with many factories all over the city. Excellent, thank you. Geoffrey of Mount at 20th century after attributed the founding of London to the mythical King Lear. While later writers succeeded to princesses associated with a leader by name of London. London is famous for Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, uh, British Museum and Tower Bridge. London is also known for its rich history, cosmopolitan vibes and others. Okay, all your paragraphs was uh, put in order correctly, clap for the second row. London is the capital of Great Britain and a capital city of the United Kingdom. It is the largest city in Europe and one of the, of the oldest city in the world. The oldest part of London is called the city. Thank you. <coughs> the most fashionable and the most expensive part to live in is the West End. It is situated between the city and Hyde Park. The city and the West End are the heart of London as the most interesting buildings, shops and offices are situated here. It is the largest metropolis in the United Kingdom and it is also the country's economic, transportation and cultural center. Thank you. Uh, until, until 1889 the name London applied officially only the city of London but since then it has also referred uh, to the country of London and Great London, each writing London is concreted to LDN. Okay, thank you. The Big Smoke perhaps the most well known of London's nickname because London was on an industrial hotbed with many factors all over the city. Okay. Geoffrey of Munmas, uh, uh, 12th century after, attributed the founding of London to the mythical King Lad, while later writers suggested to princess save a Celtic war leader by the name of Londoners. Excellent. London is famous for Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, British Music and Tower Bridge. London is also known for its rich history, cosmopolitan vibes and others. about London, uh, we learn uh, the information uh, is, is that uh, is, uh, London is a very uh, beautiful city and big city, um, the capital of Great Britain and also a capital of uh, England. Uh, his area is more than, uh, his uh, area is uh, 1,552 square kilometers. 
um, okay. London is the most fashionable and the uh, capital uh, part of Europe is the West End. London is the capital of Great Britain. Uh, it is situated between uh, the River Thames. Um, and Thank you so much. Uh, uh, when did I uh, uh, show about uh, London uh, pictures? Uh, I want to go to London and see Big Ben. Okay, I hope that after graduating school you will go yes. there. Uh, London is a beautiful city. Okay. Uh, it's very big and uh, they live uh, more, uh, 10 million person. Yes. Okay. London has six letters. Eh? Yes, <laughs> excellent. Okay, thank you so much. More facts, the largest uh, in the world clock tower, the nickname of London, London is the ancient city, uh, okay. the largest city in Europe, uh, okay. about big smoke, okay. uh, population and area, okay. the largest metropolis, I think. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay. More information about Great Britain, about London. I'm very happy and excited to be here and uh, to gain more information about uh, that uh, uh, you told me everything about Great Britain, also about London. Uh, you did it well, this excellent. All of your marks are five, both first and second row. And I hope that if you will work hard with your English life today, you will achieve a lot in the future. And I hope that in the future I will be uh, proud of uh, uh, how, uh, how to say, intelligent and how to, how active uh, students or how active person you will be in the future. Thank you for uh, this uh, lesson and taking part at my lesson. And uh, today is our lesson and also my presentation about our new topic about London is over. Бојата за курдот ки дарин соети дарси, омес горон аз дигар му аси соета слюти шахру дехоти панчакент, борох бари на мојанда и шојба има ориф и штирок дошта. Ба муали маи джавон, гафорова джихати ташкили, чунин дарси джолеб, ба хои балан додант. Барои ин як соети на дарси ки фарзо на джон гузаштан, бе ни хојат, захмат хој калон кашидан ки хонанда го нашон, من در این روزه درس بسیار فعال و اشتراک کردم خود از همین نشان سری سینگیشان محلوم است که آموزگار چگونه آموزگار هستن خوانندگان این کس همیشه در آزمون های ویلایتی و جمهوریوی جای های نمایان رو اشغال می نمایم و گفتنی هم که فرزان جان شایسته تحسین گردد نامتان تا از این هم بیشتر خندت حیاتی بختتان کار اگر باشد مناسی نام هم زیبنده است نام نیکی فرزان جان از مهنتی پرزنده است چه تاوری اساس گزاری سلح و وحدت ملی پیشوی ملت پریزیدنت جمهوری توجیکستان محترم امومالی رحمون پای وستا تاکید می نمویند در برابری دونیستنی زبانی مداری با اوموزیشی زبانی خوریجی نیست دقیقی مخصوص داده شود تا در آینده جوانون و نورسان تاونیسته باشند تا در روند جهانی شوی سهمی با سازوی خود را برای معرفی نمودنی کشوری عزیزمون سهم گزار باشند از این لحاظ اوموزگرانی این فند را ضرور است تا باشا گردانی خود بیشتر و بیشتر در این سمت کار کنند